Born in the United States but raised in Switzerland, Raphael's multicultural background influences the way he approaches his calling in life, food. His forte may be French cuisine, but Raphael is always experimenting with fresh ideas from different cultures, upping the ante with exciting menus that are chock full of goodness. You know, when I think of traditional Chinese medicine, I have this notion of it because when I was growing up, it used to be a case of you go to the sensei, you buy it, you, you double boil it, you take it and it makes you feel better, but actually incorporating it into skincare and treatments, there's that nothing, sounds... There's nothing really new about it. It is actually an old principle that you take care of your body from the inside out or from mm -hmm. the outside in. What we have here, all these products, eating or applying it onto your skin, is all just repackaged. It's like TCM, but with a modern twist. Absolutely. Just repackaging it. Absolutely. So most of these products you find up here, mm -hmm. I actually use in my kitchen. Manuka honey, lavender, true TCM products. So there's nothing new to so that. This actually is more common than, than what we think. There's magic in everything nature offers us. We live amongst powers we are unaware of. In the old days, there have only been herbs, a few bone fixes, very crude doctors, and they had to use natural cures. And they relied on plants and all that earth has to offer. And from those days, we still have a 4,000 year old, well-documented history on herbs. There's a wonderful mildness about TCM. First of all, it is the longest studied medical treatments that we have on human beings. And in all its history, they probably had a lot of failures, but the side effects by taking TCMs are very, very minimum. There is like no toxicity to your system. Whereas if you take Western medicine, even Western aphrodisiacs, sure, they go straight to your system and sure, they have an incredible impact on you immediately. But the long-term effects on those are not studied, not available. We don't know what it's going to do to you. I think by nature, playing with nature, with natural products, you're going a safer way. Instead of ingesting just a tea or a brew, I'm encouraging you to take these powerful herbs and make a traditional, easy to prepare dish. There's nothing magical about that. I simply encourage you to eat a variety of choice and know exactly how they can benefit you. You should have fun cooking, simple dishes, eat for your mind. Telling you what it does to you, that is my passion. And all my ingredients are available to you in your local supermarket or right here on the local street market. Raphael knows quite a bit about herbs. He incorporates a lot of it into his menus. I'm going to show you simple recipes and I'm going to give you a life-changing experience by using wonderful ingredients in these easy-to-prepare menus. I'm using for this recipe gingerbread cookie dough. I'm going to use a bristle farm walnut. I'm going to use There's a sample of our product line, the ginger pralines, the ginger infusion teas that Whole Foods and Williams Sonoma and many other chains have long banked on the knowledge that a smarter generation today is coming back to nature and boosting their immune system with natural products and they are very well educated about eating healthy. And so we're binding the old with the young and we're making it aware to the young people that eating TCM is very healthy and doesn't have to taste bad, and that's very, very important. Ginger has been used in American cooking for over 300 years. Grace Coolidge, in her White House cookbook for all American households, had a secret recipe from her grandmother for a soothing cough syrup containing ginger. Today we are going to bake ginger cookies from a 300-year-old English recipe, possibly the same when Grandmother Coolidge brought hers back to the United States in 1840. All those recipes you can find in my new cookbook. Now, as we know, ginger is a wonderful ingredient that has strong powers. One of them is it is soothing to the lungs and it is activating the kidneys. This is a perfect cookie for people that feel hungover after a party. In taking an old, like TCM, an old respected tradition into the modern world, you want to incorporate it with every element that is available to you. Most everything you already eat is somewhat registered as a TCM. But TCM can be as unusual as eating pearl powder. But it looks quite different it's actually. It's a very special pearl powder. It is so 
finely grinded, it is water soluble, which is the future of TCMs. This is also easy absorbable to your system, that means you absorb much more than you would usually. There's 12,000 registered herbs on the market and some of them, as we speak, are being fingerprinted to prove that the power is there and proclaimed. Oh, that smells good. Boy, they are hot. Careful. Mmm, they are really the best, those ginger cookies when they are hot. You won't want this little toast here is for all the future chefs that will be cooking with TCMs. Ah, oh, cheers. That's a nice toast. Definitely.